from MMA Hive. So I just wanted to show you a bit more about the fighter earnings data that I got thanks to MMASalaries.com. I basically went through their site and pulled together all of the data from all the different events. So we've got uh, as recent right now as the 27th of March, uh, UFC 260, which is very recent, um, all the way back to um, 2020, uh, the 12th, so in, de in December. So we've got like a selection of several months of fight cards going on in, in, in all of this. One of the interesting things about it on the base salary is that most people got just a minimum of $10,000. Well, the minimum that people can get is $10,000 from the data that I've seen recently. I've looked at back at old data, but uh, the minimums there would like lower slightly, $8,000 and then $5,000 if you go even further back. But in recent history, uh, the minimum seems to be that $10,000 for fighting uh, in a UFC fight card, whether it's fight night or UFC event, obviously the minimums are going to be more likely on a fight night because it's less, usually less uh, popular <clears throat> than the full UFC event, like 260. But the minimums that they usually get is like 10000 So here's an example of one where it's Cody Durden versus Jimmy Flick. And he got a base salary of 10000 He lost. And he got a sponsorship bonus of $3,500. So his total earnings were $13,500. There's also like the median. So the median is like the people in the middle of the pack, not the average. So um, the people in the middle of the pack is $30,000. So when you take out all the outliers, like the minimums and the maximums, like here, such as $10,000 for the minimum and $5 million for the maximum, which I bet you can guess who that is. It's Conor McGregor. Um, actually, let me check that. Because usually Conor, no, it is Conor McGregor, yeah, but he lost against Dustin Poirier in um, 257, UFC 257. But most of his earnings come from pay-per-view, so that's interesting. More on that later, perhaps. So if we go back to... And the median, the median that people get is like thirty thousand dollars for the base salary. The median win bonus they get is twenty five thousand, twenty four thousand dollars, and the performance bonus pretty much the same on all of them. Uh, performance bonus is a fixed rate which gets added on top. The median sponsorships is five thousand dollars, whereas the minimum was three thousand five hundred. So you're looking at most fighters, like most fighters that are ranked and that have some sort of small audience um, that that supports them like into a fight night or a UFC event they get $52,000 so that's a pretty good paycheck just for fighting and this isn't taken into account whether they win or lose um, the average which is taking taking into account all of the earnings so that the maximums the minimums everyone in the middle then you'll see a base average of $84,000 but that's obviously skewed much higher than the median and I think the median is more of a accurate uh, number to take into account because this is what most fighters will get, but this is taking into account all of the earnings of base salary of uh, everyone. So everywhere from Conor McGregor down to the to the newbies in the, in the league. Um, Pay-per-view payouts, like the minimum, there isn't much data here because most of it's, most people don't get to claim a pay-per-view payout. So if we even look, you'll see that a lot of this data is blank. We've got here Conor McGregor at the maximum of $20,500,000. Uh, it's an estimation because no one will know exactly, and that's the, the maximum. But someone got a minimum of 400000 so let's check that. That was Kamaru Usman. So because of Usman's probably his um, win streak and his uh, you know success rate has been so high that he's grabbed himself uh, an ability to demand some of the pay-per-view payouts and even though Kamal Usman is an incredibly good fighter these days, he doesn't claim as much as uh, Conor McGregor might because Conor McGregor's name being one of the biggest sport personalities in the world, he brings in people from all other kinds of sports interests just to watch the event, which means a hell of a lot more money. But Kamal Usman getting $600,000 base salary, he won the fight, no win bonus, but he, won, he got his pay-per-view payout. Plus sponsorships, he earned over a million in his fight against Gilbert Burns at two, uh, in um, UFC 258. So 
pretty nice. Uh, let's keep checking the data. We've got some more pay-per-view payouts here. So Israel Adesanya, it's got a huge, um, obviously he has a huge audience and success rate, but he lost against Jan Blakowicz in UFC 259. His base salary was a million and he got a pay-per-view payout of just over a million. So he generated a lot of interest for his fight um, with a total earnings of two million, just over two million, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. This data does say that it's assumed that he's getting pay-per-view. Um, so because um, you won't ever find the actual behind the scenes contracts about exactly how much he earned unless they get leaked somewhere. But there is an assumed and it is pretty accurate based on what we've known from like Conor McGregor fights. We've got one here as well, like Amanda Nunes earning a similar pay-per-view payout. Uh, it was on the same event. So she looks like her and Israel took split of that event, um, but they didn't get a win bonus. So it's often that when they get in pay-per-view, you'll often see that they don't get a win bonus, even if they win, because the pay-per-view payout is worth a hell of a lot more to them. And then another minimum here we saw of Stipe Miocic against Francis Ngannou and in UFC 260 and assumed pay-per-view pay, pay payout of $400,000 and just over a mil in total earnings. So yeah, it's, it's really interesting to go through this data to find out some of this interesting stuff like it's also cool to see like maximum sponsorship levels, like $40,000 is the maximum that I've seen in this list, um, which shows that just by having some certain brands behind you, you can earn quite a lot, especially when you consider that the medium base salary is $30,000. So some people, some people earn a huge sponsorship rate, but of course it's going to be some of the biggest players in the game. Most people earn 3,500. That's the minimum from sponsorship. So I guess this is things like Monster Energy, um, you know, Connor's Whiskey, all these other stuff that show during ads, you know, I think even the US Army and all, all sorts of others showing in the, in the sponsorships that everyone gets a piece of it, which is pretty cool. Um, it means that even if you fight, you get a base salary and everyone appears, if you look at this column, everyone appears to get at least $3,500 part of the sponsorship money because yeah, throughout their fight, sponsorships are being shown, people are earning money. So yeah, it's pretty good. So yeah, that's the most of the MMA fighter earnings sheet that I put together. Um, I hope you enjoy it.